Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video and in this video we're going to discuss navigation 3. So what is navigation 3 and what are the advantages we will receive when we use navigation 3 over navigation 2. So in navigation 2, you cannot directly access your back stack even you cannot create your back stack creation of back stack and the communication between back stack is something which is delicated over navigation controller in navigation 2 if you want to add something onto your back stack we'll use navigate function with navigation controller and if you want to remove something we'll use pop back stack with navigation controller so navigation controller will act as a bridge between me and our back stack with navigation 3 it is not the case we can create our back stack we can use directly our back stack we can just add and remove our screen from back stack directly and everything will be controlled by ourselves it's very easy it's very convenient to use navigation 3 so enough talking let's get started with our project and see how we can actually use navigation 3 and what are the advantage it will provide us so for that first thing first you need to create a project so i have already created one and in this you need to add dependency and make sure you use exact same versions that i'm using in my project so let me show you open your Creda lips version toml file and what you can do you can simply just copy all the things and paste into your projects this code is available on the github and link of that thing is in the description box after that go to your application module build.gradle.kts just add all of the navigation dependency into your build.gradle.kts of your application module i know there are few dependency which we might not use in this project but due to some complication during the compile time and runtime i have added all the dependencies because right now it is in alpha variant so there are few conflicts that may arise so due to that reason i have just added all the dependencies now go to your application source main java and your main activity and in this main activity first thing first i'm going to create few composables which we want to show to our user so first composable name is very simple first screen and in this first screen i'm going to create a column that has modifier will max size and its vertical arrangement is on the center and its horizontal alignment is also on the center horizontally now in this i'm gonna create a text and this text says to us first screen just below to it i'm gonna add a spacer having modifier height of this thing is 12 dp import this dp just below to it we have a button and the ui of this button says go to second screen and in the button we have to pass our on click event so i want to transfer my on click event to my parent composable so just use state hosting in here and pass this on click in this button cool so this is my first screen it's a very uh, simple screen copy this stuff and at the bottom i'm gonna just paste it and i'm gonna call it second screen and in this second screen just change the name from first to second and over here this time i want to navigate back to our first screen so i'm using here go to first screen text instead of go to second screen and similarly i'm going to transfer my click event to my parent composable so these are screens we have and i want to show this okay so now in our recipe theme first thing first i'm going to create my back stack with the help of remember mutable state list of because it represent a list let me import this remember first and in this we gonna mention the type of our route so type is any and now it's a very good time to create few routes so we have data object for first screen which eventually represent the first screen route similarly we have one more data object which eventually represent the second screen route nice so as soon as my navigation display start appear to the user i want to show first screen so for that just use your first screen just like we were using start destination with our navigation graph by the way in navigation 3 there is no navigation graph there is no navigation controller it's you who can dictate the adding and removing of your screen from your back stack directly so we have nav display and in this nav display we have to mention our back stack next what will happen if a user click on the back button which is present at the bottom of our navigation bar so in this situation i'm using my back stack and i want to remove last or null lastly we have to use entry provider and in this entry provider let me just remove this 
pair of parentheses and over here i'm using entry provider and in this entry provider you can mention all of your screen with their corresponding routes so my first screen route represent the first screen so to register that entry we have here entry and in this entry you can simply mention the route so route is first screen and in this we'll receive the key so key represent your first screen now over here i'm using my first screen and in this i'm using modifier fill max size and this is my on click event so when user click on it i'm simply using my back stack and add my second screen so what second screen represent well second screen route represent this second screen composable so just use here add and mention the route which is second screen okay so we are done with our first screen entry next we have to do the same thing for our second screen so just use here entry use second screen and in this second screen and pass modifier if you want to so i want to pass fill max size and when user click to my second screen button i just want to remove this second screen from my back stack well with navigation 2 we'll do the same thing with the help of navigation controller dot pop back stack but in navigation 3 we do not have any kind of nav controller which act as a bridge between our composable and back stack so we can directly access our back stack in navigation 3 and here i'm using remove and mention my route that we want to remove well we want to remove the second screen as soon as we remove the second screen it automatically starts showing the first screen because we have only two different screen in our back stack and now it's a very good time to execute it and see whether it is working or not okay so as you can see our application is working and when i click to this go to second screen we will navigate to the second screen and when i click on this button it simply pop or you can say it simply remove that screen from our back stack and ultimately we will see the first screen all right so now we will see how we can actually pass argument from one screen to another screen so for that what i can do first thing first i'm gonna create here a sealed interface naming dist and in this i'm gonna just paste my routes and let's do some changes corresponding to this interface just use dist dot in front of our first screen and second screen so over here over here here and here too all right so now i want to pass information from our first screen to second screen so let's use here class and in this second screen i want to pass id and also i want to pass one custom object which represent dummy and in this dummy we have again id and we have name which is type of string and i want to pass this thing too all right so let's see how we can pass this information from first screen to second screen so to do that go to your second screen and in this second screen what you can do you can mention the id which is 12 and let's create an object of our dummy and in this i'm gonna use 34 and my name cool next i want to retrieve this information so you can get the information in a form of key in your trailing lambda of entry and over here i want to make some changes in my second screen so go to your second screen and in the second screen i want to add few parameters so first is int uh, next is my dummy and in my text i want to just use everything so first i'm using the id next i'm using my dummy id just use dummy dot name and also dummy dot id scroll up go to your entry of second screen and over here you just add all the things so first we need to add our id so id is coming in a form of key dot id next we have dummy and in place of dummy you can use key dot dummy as you can see we have a problem here and the problem is second screen is now a data class so we have to use its constructor invocation so what we can do instead of using here remove we'll use remove last or null and eventually it will do the same thing all right so just re-execute our application this is my first screen and when i click to the button we'll navigate to the second screen and this time it will also comes with the argument which we have passed from our first screen 
so in this you can see we do not need any kind of serialization and deserialization when we want to pass custom data class objects from first screen to second screen and this is a plus point of having navigation 3 it is not possible with navigation 2 so yeah i hope you got the point why navigation 3 is better then navigation 2. Navigation 3 gives us more control over our back stack. We can directly communicate with our back stack. There is no requirement of navigation graph. There is no requirement of navigation controller. There is no requirement of using functions of navigation controller to communicate with your back stack. You can directly access your back stack and communicate with it. I hope you got the video. I hope you like the concept and also I hope you like this navigation 3 library. We will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about navigation 3. Till that, goodbye.